Hey everybody, thanks so much for listening to the Dumb Dad Podcast. My name is Kevin, and I'm a dumb dad. Hello there, my name is Evan, and I'm a dumb dad. Mm. Cheers, cheers to you, my good friend. How we doing? Happy Thursday. Thursday, as of this recording. As if it matters. Unless you're listening to this on a Thursday, then happy Thursday. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I was just kind of saying it to you, but Otherwise, now that does make Tuesday. sense. happy yeah. Tuesday. Okay, well then happy, happy day that ends in Y. It doesn't matter because you're a parent on every one of those days. Oh, well, I'm just being real. Mm-hmm. Just trying to be keep it uh, real here, Kevin. <laughs> Speaking of keeping it real, I am currently wearing Invisalign. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. You should have emailed them first. <laughs> uh, n- That's on you, pal. No, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Why are you wearing it for the podcast? Yeah, it's it me. is Kevin. Nobody freak out. Yeah, it's going to sound like a different Whoa. human being. They said I might have a lisp. Oh, good. And uh, it's kind of, it'll be like a cute little thing. that. You so can... now it's like, challenge accepted. <laughs> I will not have a... <laughs> and lisp, it's an old joke, but lisp is the most insane word uh-huh. to name it. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, yeah, so, like rhinoplasty. That's like the... <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> what are we doing here? Uh, yeah, I got Invisalign, you know? I was just uh-huh. like, but you're almost 40. Might as well start fixing stuff now. (laughs) I guess. I mean, there's two schools of thought. One is like, and you made it this far. I know. (laughs) There was definitely that school of thought, which is how I've gotten by to almost 40. Yeah. And then there was the, ah, just do it. It's kind of like me with the hair. It's like, it's either that or longer than that. But it's not going to do anything different other than whatever it feels like doing. Mm Mm-hmm. Or you what can buzz it like you used to. You 80, used to have it buzzed. I did, yeah, for a while because like I didn't know what to do. Yeah, it just I just have like eighty-seven calyx in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you think just eighty-seven, huh? Uh, well, I've counted them once. Here's why I brought it up, though. I wasn't just plug in Invisalign. Okay, it was because I was chuckling to myself at the dentist. I got it today, this morning, yeah. um, and I was told by. Uh, at least three times by two different people. Um, okay, so this is your Invisalign, and you're going to take it out every time you uh, eat or brush your teeth or floss. And I was like, okay. And they go, and this is your case, okay? This is where they go when you take them out. Don't put them in a tissue or a napkin because they will get thrown away, okay? Don't do that. Don't put them in your napkin. Did you tell them? No, I was just laughing like, at myself. Oh my I was like, "No, I know that because uh, I have a little, I have a podcast. I'm sure you listen." Um, yeah, but I was like, "Oh That's my god, Evan's, Evan's son has lost it <laughs> tw- three, twice." I think it was twice, but then the third time might have been the third time that it was like, "I mean, you're getting the permanent one next week, so yeah. we can wait." Something like that, where we're like. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just funny to me that they were talking to me exactly how you've told me you talk to your son. Like it was the same tone of, okay, buddy. So take this with you everywhere you go. I was like, oh my God, this is hilarious. This is exactly how it went. The amount of stupidity that that they're assuming on you by saying it like that. Yeah. Almost puts like so much pressure on you that you get nervous about it, and then and then it'll make you more likely to do it. After here's what's even funnier: after they were like uh, talking to me like a child, uh-huh. then they continued on and went, "Okay, great." Didn't so help you wearing dumb dad's shirt when the- you do <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Um, after they were like, "Okay, great." Moving on. And they talked about a couple of other things. And then they went, so when you do lose them, um, (laughs) keep your last pair so you can put those in so you have something until you get your replacement. And I was like, that's really rude. (laughs) That's a step back. It will be a step back. (laughs) Yeah. They will find their way back to where they were more comfortable before. So how how many times do you have to change them? Uh, Every... Like two weeks. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I already have my replacement. It's wild. Ready how, to get lost. It's wild how it works. <laughs> I mean, braces are Invisalign, whatever. Like how yeah. just the subtle little bit at a time, little bit at a time. Yeah. It's like 
a little bonsai tree, a bunch of little bonsai trees in your mouth where they just kind of just well, keep it within a certain space it. and then yeah, a tiny bit at a time and eventually it'll just stay like that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my life for bonsai tea. <laughs> a year to a year and a half. Well, well, everyone will just get used to it right along with you, Kev. We're in support of you. I was I was saying this. Or they'll stop listening. I don't know. Maybe this will be horrible for us. I can't. It's, you can just hear the Invisalign clicking. <laughs> okay. I wanted to talk about something really quick because it's it's always like a, a topic of conversation in the early part of the school year, which I think is so funny. And then we'll just get right into the dumb dad moments. Okay. And that being uh, school pictures. And we were talking about this last night, how funny it was that like we go, all of our children are in the same school district. Mm-hmm. You, Your school already did school pictures. Yeah. This must have been like the second week of school. And then it was pretty early already, you like you've already got them in the mail and everything. Did you go to school where it was the first day of school? Did I what? When you went to school, was it the first day of school picture day? Because that's what it was. For oh, us. like when I went to school. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Ours was the first day of school, which was so smart because everyone's wearing their back to school outfit. Yeah, and everyone looks excited sharp about as hell. Yeah, I don't they know want to why. Show off their outfit. It seems like and it was picture day. I don't know if it was or not. It probably was. I don't really remember. For all I know, I'm lying. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like it was never that. <laughs> it never happened. You kept saying Wait it. Wait for the fact check email that your mom sends. It's like, what? I came up with about? it. It was a good idea that I had, and I told that idea for so long that it became true. Part of your truth and history. Part of my truth. It never happened. We never actually, you never took pictures at Picture Day. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are these other. Um, the the uh, Anyway, which I thought was so funny that you already have them, and now like our kids are doing it tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, that's a long time in between. Part of me thought, like, why don't they just do it all the same day? But then it's like every single school. It's like how many photography companies do you think there are? Yeah. Obviously, that makes more sense to me that it's not only. Yeah. But it feels like, well, that's way later considering. Yours is way later. It's like your school, their school was like, I'll see if they stick around. We don't want to waste a photo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. These kids are going to drop out. It's all digital. Yep. That's uh, that's hilarious. I mean, if, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I just thought it was really funny. Were, like, we got picture your house the other day, and I saw a picture of your little boy, and I was like, oh, it's a cool pic. Wait, what? Why does he already have this? <laughs> Did they get these done already <laughs> from some independent company? <laughs> we had a wild thing last year because we, uh, my wife and I did the yearbook for the school, um, and it was funny because we had picture day, and then there's makeup picture day. Yeah. That's what we did last year because <laughs> we sent our kid to school, and then two hours later, it was like... Oh, it's picture day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't keep that one. Missed opportunity. It wasn't as gnarly as... That's the kind of the thing. We talk about this a lot. Like, you have a million pictures of your kids on your phone. And it's yeah. like, now it's like, sit down. The lights are on. What smile are you going to give? Yeah. What happened between now and when you took the picture with your hair, your outfit, whatever? Like, I'll take it. I'll yeah. take a wild photo. Yeah. Who but cares? You, but you didn't. Didn't. <laughs> didn't. Slightly disappointed in the in the <laughs> in the overall... Fairly nice photograph. But here's what's even better, though, is so when we did the yearbook last year, there was picture day and there was makeup. Makeup picture day got canceled because of, I don't remember, like some hurricane, pretend hurricane we were getting. Maybe it was that last year. I don't know. We got like a tropical storm that they, I think they canceled. I think it was that week. Mm. Whatever the reason, they canceled the makeup. So nobody got to do makeups. And then we're doing the yearbook and I'm like, oh, I'm missing a couple kids here. And yeah. Um, reach out find out they didn't do that we got permission from their parents to just pull them out of class and go look here smile and take like iphone photos <laughs> those were gnarly <laughs> some of them were good look because otherwise they wouldn't have no- they would have nothing they would have no picture in the yearbook <laughs> sorry parents that's the- i mean I, I we did do the makeup pictures last year mostly because when my son we sent him to school uh-huh. and it was like Oh man, it's picture day. I totally forgot about that. Like it was any other run of the mill day mm-hmm. where it was like got up, had breakfast, got himself dressed, and it was like, okay, let's go. Didn't do anything with his hair, didn't do anything, which is generally fine, whatever. Sure. But he had been like he was like three weeks past the due date of a haircut. So it was like mm-hmm. just looked like his hair <laughs> needed a haircut. Yeah. It was not like wild enough to be like, oh, what a cool hairstyle. It was right. just like too long in the way that he had it cut before. So it was like, oh man, that needs to get fixed. So he was like a little bent about that, understandably. He's like, my hair, like, we haven't gotten a haircut. Now my hair looked all crazy. He was like, well, let's do the makeup thing. So we got him. He cared that much? He cared that much, yeah. Mm. Because he's been, for like a year and a half, he's been wanting like a style. Like when he drew, 
when he would draw portraits of himself or oh, self portraits uh-huh. or whatever he draws like you know like comic book characters of himself and stuff and uh-huh. it'll be like this character that has like his hair swooped over one eye it's okay. like the look that he likes he thinks is cool so that's what he he wanted to do that with his hair for a while last year and got it pretty close and then after a while, got so sick of his hair being long like that that he's like, I want it cut. I want it short again. It's so annoying. And we're like, okay, so we got to cut. Yeah. And now he's gone back to that. I want it back over my, I want it to cover one of my eyes. And we're like, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what this look is, but sure. Emo. And so he, yeah, that's what he said. He goes, I want it to be really emo. That's what he said yesterday. <laughs> we're like, I don't even know if you know what that means, but sure. Yeah. I think he just thinks like, that's what that means. That haircut is emo kind, hair. Kind of does. I mean, it kind of does, but it's like he doesn't like the overall. Are you gonna like doesn't put understand. motor oil in his hair? I don't know. It's, it's like just jet black. To me, it's like sure, do whatever you want. Like get them all, get all your or how you think you want to look or feel out. Like try it all. Sure, get it out. Like then you're done with your feelings. Well, that's yeah, that's what I mean. Like <laughs> get it out now and then decide. Because when you're but, a when you're a man. But I'm ha- bury those. But I have, I'm happy that he's doing it now, that he feels comfortable to see, like, uh-huh. I want to see what this looks like. I want to try this. He wanted to get his ear pierced. He got his ear pierced, you know? Yeah. I was always too afraid to do that stuff when I was a young kid. Like, Sure. Actually, before we go into the dumb dad moments, I will bring this thing up. He, I think it's kind of- on your dad. <laughs> yeah. scared of things. <laughs> Buckle up, dad. <laughs> Here it comes. I was a little bit surprised that this was a topic of conversation in our house in the last couple of weeks. He asked us- if he could buy a new pair of shoes, and we're like, well, you know, why do you want, you know, kind of, it kind of was ri- random. Uh-huh. It kind of came back that he was like, I like the shoes I have, but I would like a pair of Nike shoes. Uh-huh. And it was like, huh. I could already see it. I mean, like, even just the way he brought it up, I was like, okay. Yeah. Because a lot of, yeah, a lot of his friends have cool pairs of Nikes. And he was like, kind of just thought they looked cool. And we kind of didn't want to grill him like, this isn't going to make you popular or anything like that. It was just like, why? He was like, well, a lot of my friends have them. I think they look really cool. And it was like, okay, that's fair. I get that. Yeah. He thinks they have cool pairs of shoes that he would like, something like that. Sure. Maybe we'll look into it. We helped him that day also like go through his shoes, which ones don't fit anymore. Not surprisingly, you go through, you're like, well, you got a lot of pairs of shoes. Yep. Why don't we go through? Oh, okay. Half of these don't fit anymore. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like with their, with their clothes and their shoes and yep. everything, you ignore it for a while. And it's like, oh, man. Yeah. Are your toes okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we were like, okay, well, we're not going to do the $150 pair of shoes. It's going to last you. No. It's the dad take, but we're all, money's not long like that. So we're not doing the $150 pair of Jordans that it, are going to last you six it, weeks. It's also their kids are ruthless. Yeah. Like at school, they're, they're going to be horrible in a week. They're going to be yeah. all torn up and dirty. Which I don't really mind. Like, uh, so, I mean... I have a couple of pairs of nice shoes, but I try to wear them. I don't really just like box up shoes that I like and then try never to wear them. Sure. You know what I mean? Like shoes are meant to be worn. Wear them and then whatever. But there is a thing where it's like they're not going to last you that long in terms yeah. of how long they're going to fit you. So right. that's most of it. Um, but we thought, okay, well, let's find a couple of pairs they think are, look mm-hmm. good. And then we'll wait to see if like they go on sale or find a good price. Them so that's what we did. And uh, just thinking like, We'll kind of meet you halfway. We'll get you a new pair of shoes. If you mm-hmm. want a pair of Nikes, we'll get you a pair of Nikes, but we'll kind of find the right deal, but yeah. the ones that you also think look good. So we did all that, and he loved them. He was, like, super stoked on them. And then, like, the first day he warmed to school, in line, he was, like, showing his friends, like, hey, I got a pair of Nikes. What do you guys think? And some kid goes, I have, like, four pairs like that. Those don't even look like they cost that much money. <laughs> it's like some super shade <laughs> from some... <laughs> spoiled brat kid in line and he was like you know it hurt his feelings sure and it was like dude at eight really god that they have and like sometimes when this kind of stuff happens and i know Uh we've we've once in a while there's been a topic of conversation we've talked about this on the podcast before that a kid says something to your kid or they witness a kid saying Uh something like that to another kid and it's like how like really but all i can think is like man tell me you don't have like a 14 year old brother without telling me you don't have a 14 year old brother yeah. it's like where that feels like because kids don't just uh, like you're he's automatically that much of an asshole at eight out of nowhere yeah. like i doubt that yeah so then he comes home he was a little bit upset about it but at the same time was like how about that make you feel he's like not great and i was like right sure that kid was not being nice to you like yeah. that is not yeah. somebody that's a friend or whatever you right. know talk him through all that kind of stuff and like and then i asked the question that i was a little bit nervous to ask which is like 
do you still think they're cool? <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah, I love them. Like, he was a, like, it hurt his feelings, but he was always like, I mean, this kid's wrong. These are cool. Mm-hmm. And he's like, and like three of my three of my other friends have the same ones. Mm. They're that level of like yeah. stylish and cool enough. The parents are like, those don't cost too much money. That's pretty good. To where probably a lot of parents like find that situation, you know, like sure. much like we did. So I felt bad for him that it was like, man, I can't believe we're having this conversation right now. Yeah. Like, don't. But because you tell the kid, listen, that's not a nice thing to say. You you wouldn't say that to somebody else, right? Just because they, let's say, don't have enough money to buy something nice. Or sure. they're, they wear the same shirt like three days in a row for whatever reason that might be or whatever. Like a friend is somebody that you like hanging out, hanging out with that makes you feel good about yourself and vice versa. And he like sure. he feels like he does understand all that stuff. So is this a it, it, it hurt his feeling. Not anymore. Let me tell you that. But in real life? <laughs> no, not really. It wasn't like somebody that he's like really close with. But he yeah. told us. He goes, I don't really like that you said that about me. And that makes me not want to be friends with you anymore. Hmm. That's what his response was. And we were like, okay. I understand that. It's not like. Next time? Yeah. Right in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> but it was Use like, that new shoe. Yeah. Permission. <laughs> it's going to be a hard soul, too, because they haven't broken them in. Yeah. No, it just felt like that is. An extreme response. Not maybe not an extreme response, but we were kind of telling him, like, yeah, it doesn't mean, it just might mean, like, you kind of clock that with somebody who says something like that to you. Maybe that's somebody that you don't need to be friends with. It doesn't need to be like, cut them off forever. That's the end of that. You know? Yeah. Maybe they apologize the next day, or maybe, you know, like, but you could say something like, hey, I don't think that's really fair. Like, I like them. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what you think. You know, that could be the response. So, kind of coaching him through some of that. But it was just like, man, really? At eight? Yeah. It just it does feel like and we talk about it a lot. The speed and the internet and the world exists so much smaller and operates much smaller than it used to. I think the kids are going to experience things like that at a younger age. The children in the next ten or fifteen years are going to mature at a younger age because more information is available to them at yeah. a faster rate. Yeah. And maybe forces a little perspective on them now, you know, that they weren't that we never had. Yeah, and there's just so many shows out there too, especially shows where like the protagonists are kids. So you're gonna see like live action shows with kids being kids, and yeah, a lot and of they'll times see that as an cruel, option. Yeah. Whereas like we grew up watching just mostly cartoons and mm-hmm. would see movies with protagonist kids. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's like that was maybe the kids are test their boundaries, your boundaries, to see what they can get away with, just like they do at home. So I don't know, but it was just felt like what a weird, cruel thing to say when it's like, aren't we just in third grade? Like, what, <laughs> what, what is going on here? Shouldn't have got him the Nikes. This is the moral I mean, yeah, of the don't story. Don't buy your kids shoes. You, just, <laughs> you know who doesn't get attacked? The the kid with just the the black pair of sneakers. <laughs> yeah. They were. Third. They were black and white. It was, they were seemed like safe. If they had a Nike swoop on them. That's it. It's a target. You have a target on them. Ah. Uh, anyway. So that was kind of something that was like, all right, we're clocking that kind of um, those kind of conversations now, that mentality at school. Be be aware of that kind of stuff. Bully ish. You just got to teach a kid to be Talks. more devastating. I mean, yeah. What, right. is, what was he wearing? Yeah, wow. Exactly. Missed opportunity. Yeah. Take a deep breath and just yeah. pick him apart from top mm-hmm. to bottom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't stop till he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp, sharpen your tongue like yep. your fathers have. It'll come. It'll come in high school. He gets shoved yeah. around a little bit. Yeah, I'll get a little sharper with his tongue. <laughs> and then I come home with a black eye and go, oh, okay, yeah. yeah Too sharp, huh? Yeah. yeah. Did you go for something that's really yeah. unfair? Yeah. <laughs> you stepped over the line, huh? <laughs> with your brand new shoes. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, there we are. That's what's, that's a update with school. Let's get into the dumb dad moments. All right. Let's get into them. Um, so my dumb dad moment uh-huh. this week was, um, so we're, we're, we're deep in everything. My yes. son's got soccer. Mm-hmm. My daughter has. Uh, my son has soccer and swim. My daughter has uh, violin, swim, and uh, baseball. Yep. It, it's and it's every day. We're doing something. Yeah. Every day. We had that conversation the other day. We we're doing that same kind of thing. Big schedules, and it's like something was going to get scheduled on a Friday. My wife was like, "I did everything I could to avoid it." She avoided it because mm-hmm. she's like, "I just want one night where we're not doing something." And I was like, you know what's crazy is like we're gonna have a point where we're like, I just want one night where we're only doing one thing. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Well, that's what's gonna happen, and we're avoiding the weekends. That's our thing. Yeah, 
Did your son have soccer on Saturdays? Saturday. Well, he <laughs> practiced Tuesdays and Thursdays, and matches are on Saturdays. So that sucks. Three days. Of <laughs> 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 I mean, it's, you know. It is what it is. But it's, it's fun. But when you're trying we're to get trying done, to avoid just... the Saturdays as long as we can. We know it's not going to happen. We know yeah. we're eventually going to have to commit to stuff on Saturdays. Yeah. Like my son starting soccer. Just, he's about to start soccer. I'm sure it's gonna there's gonna be stuff on Saturday. Well, I said you said like your daughter, which I love, is taking like a base. It's almost like a baseball clinic, right? Where she's like learning to play yeah, baseball, she's not necessarily baseball on the team. When she's on a team, man, same thing. Yeah, you know, weekend games. Yeah, like yeah. Saying. So, um, all of these things are at <sighs> reasonable times. <laughs> like I can't get mad at them because the times that they're at are when people are. Out of or getting out of work. Like, yeah, soccer practice starts at 6 p.m. Yeah, soccer practice starts at 6 p.m. Uh, baseball starts at 6. Um, it's like, ugh, fine. I hate it because I'm a stay-at-home parent, and now I have to navigate rush hour traffic. Yeah, and dinner is <laughs> like... That's one of the benefits to being a stay-at-home yeah. parent. You don't have to navigate yeah, you don't, rush hour. Yeah. No. Normally, and normally, like dinner is like 6.30, so now it's like, yep. all right, two nights a week, we're definitely having dinner way later than we normally yep. do. So uh, they had... Uh, so they had swim this week, and it's at because of the way classes filled up, we couldn't have them take it at the same time, which just sucks. It's the worst because <laughs> it could have been four thirty to five for yep. both of them. Yep, but nope, mm -mm. it's four thirty to five for one of them, five to five thirty for the other one, and there's just a kid climbing on me for the rest of the time. Um, I'll say this: at least they're back to back. Our swim situation right nice now is a, there's like a 20 minute gap in between them. Oh, that's trash. Trash. Your life is terrible. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm not it's, you. <laughs> <it's>, uh. <laughs> but it does make it like, oh, that's so annoying. It's not long enough to go home. Not long enough to do anything. It's not long enough to do anything, anything. other than wait there for it's longer. Like, do you guys want to start smoking cigarettes? <laughs> Let's kill some time. <laughs> I hear that takes time off of things. <laughs> Start with some some Marlboro lights. Um, so we had so we had swim this week. So it was you know, four thirty to five thirty. Yeah, and then we've been doing swim for a while now, and baseball for a while. Like we've been doing all of it, and this past uh, this past week, uh, my wife had to work late, so we get home. It's like after having them shower get in the car get home it's pretty much about six um by the time we get home they get home they want to go on devices because i didn't bring any i didn't i made a choice not to bring it because it's like do your homework right when you get out of school and then you guys can go on devices for a little bit then when we get to swim no devices um like let's just either bring a book or toys or whatever mm -hmm. then they get home and they're like give me now can we watch something because homework took the whole time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were no devices <laughs> So I was like, yeah, guys, sure. So they get on their screens, and then I'm like, just moseying. I'm like, we make, I have, you know, we have a little cold brew maker, so I make coffee for the next day, and I'm washing out their lunch boxes, and I'm just kind of walking around, You're like, kind of just killing time, TikTok. And my wife, who's like <laughs> now sitting on the couch with them with her headphones on, eventually like looks up. It's like six forty-five, and she's like, "Are you gonna make dinner?" <laughs> <laughs> it was like they're supposed to be in bed i mean we never go to bed at this time but they're supposed to be in bed 45 minutes yeah <laughs> and i hadn't even i hadn't even considered it mm -hmm. and oh yeah you're i was just kind of like oh yeah sure yeah that's uh that's, that's probably a reasonable time to eat i guess fine all right <laughs> well now that you mention it yeah <laughs> i was getting to it yeah. no i wasn't i wasn't wasn't even considering, and I, I was going to get to eight fifteen. I talked to my wife about it later, and she was just like, "You just were in that mindset of like, once, and I'm sure your, your house is the same way, and I'm sure a lot of parents are the same way. It's like, it's nice having the kids at school. It's nice having this break during the day. Yeah, but now that we're doing all these events, uh, from pickup on, it's a it's a fucking circus. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, go go go. It's like because. Yeah, cleaning in a way is like it's something that needs to get done, but also it's a little bit of a break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's like, no, those lunchboxes got to get washed, and yeah. you do have to do this if you want coffee tomorrow. And you got like, 
so it is just as like you got my wife was saying you got home and you wanted to like decompress mm-hmm. but no you can't not until they're in bed man like <laughs> keep moving i know like you're trying to just i get what you mean too you're doing a couple of like things you're doing mindless for the house, tasks but mindless tasks yeah. for you which you're also normal you normally used to doing that's the thing your mental space was three hours before when when you normally do that stuff. yeah when they get from school they're doing your homework and like okay i'm gonna do this and this and this but it's like you were in the wrong mental headspace mm-hmm. of your repetitiveness of like the part of the day which is like unfair to even say like i wanted time to myself because it was like the kids were playing with toys and i was definitely like doom scrolling on my phone at swim so it's not like i didn't <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you i was taking notes i wasn't their... teaching the class you're doing nothing <laughs> And now you true. make that excuse of like, oh, I needed time for me. I was like, yeah, you had it. You wasted it. Um. <laughs> that feels, I mean, you know, normally that's, yeah, normally that's like after they go to bed and stuff, time for me. And it's like, it's wild. Maybe it's an indicator of how much activity. I hesitate to say the word stress because it's not like it's incredibly stressful, but it's, it's uh, you know, a load on your brain to be thinking about where you need to be or what's mm-hmm. going on when you're there, your responsibilities, your underlying responsibilities that you have your children with you and yeah. you're managing their behavior and where they need to be and all these things. And like just sitting there and like shutting down, watching the computer like go mm-hmm. at the end of the day, which is just like you just, whether you're looking at your phone or turning something on to watch a TV show, you're just like looking at it. You're not even really watching it. No. It's like, I've done that where my it's wife... It's hard to watch something like put on a show... <laughs> It's why people say like, well, I don't want to have something I don't want to think about because it's like I just was thinking for like 14 hours straight. I just wanted to sit there and not think for a minute. I had that I had that recently where my wife was like, all right, I'm going to go to bed. Are you going to stay up? And I've been I've been pushing myself to go to bed, which is, I'm grateful for. I'm still just as tired. <laughs> but there was one night I was like, yeah, I'm going to stay up. I'm going to probably play like the Nintendo for a little bit. And she's like, all right, cool. And And then I just like pulled out my phone to look at something real quick and an hour and a half later i was like you haven't even turned on the nintendo go oh, to no. go to bed like i just like <laughs> I got lost in my phone and i was like what a waste yeah it's, now you're like i don't even know when i'm gonna play that game again yeah. I, I could have been playing it it's like yeah, you're useless i didn't even look at anything <laughs> <laughs> so, the yeah. only thing was i found was like a new recipe for a pizza that we haven't yeah, tried. I, li- <laughs> I liked a recipe that i'm never gonna make <laughs> <laughs> the amount of stuff and it's like if i like something i'll forget to go look at it so mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do a lot of like share text it to myself man the amount of videos of cool things i've ever seen about a diy or a recipe or something like that that are just in my own text feed to myself that i like, look at and go i'm never making that why did i that? why, why did, did i, I send that to myself i must have been the wrong one i must have been tired <laughs> uh so hey this transitions really nicely into my dumb dad moment of the week which okay. is an it's a just a classic repeater because early I, pickup. Yep, I did it again. Yeah, yeah. You missed early pickup. Damn it! I did it again. Uh, second time, I think. Actually, isn't it a third time? Maybe third time. You God, did, dude, it's so annoying. And you did it on the second to last day, second to last week of school. Yeah, when we only had one left. Yeah, the one left. And the, yeah, you've done it three times. I think I've done it three times. Did it this time. Both my wife and I were home. Did you? Just just in the house, mm-hmm. and I was doing what you are doing. I was just wandering around the house, uh-huh. like doing a little bit of pickup, sat at the computer for a minute, like loaded a sketch or something we wrote, and was like mm-hmm. going over the notes of it. You know, just like killing time until I needed to leave to go get them at, at, for school at 2.30. At a, to, at about, at 2:30. Uh-huh. And I was like... I was like, I was like, literally in the moment of like gathering stuff. I think we were going to film the next day. And so I was like... I mean, I since I have so much time right now, oh God. <laughs> I'll gather, <laughs> I'll gather like the wardrobe stuff that I don't want to forget. Yeah, tomorrow. So I'm, you know, gathering a jacket because you don't want to forget something. Seeing if the yeah, I wouldn't want to forget something. <laughs> it's like, does this jacket work? Yeah, I think this will work with the thing we're gonna. Okay, yeah, I'll put that aside. Uh-huh. And my wife just goes, "Hey, babe, you were supposed to be at the school ten minutes ago." Oh, yeah. Yes, and I just went, oh fuck! It just yeah. like literally dropped everything on the floor, ran into the room, put shoes on my feet, ran out, grabbed my keys, and was just like, and she's like, 
you know, one of our friends' moms. She, she has him at the gate. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll be there in four minutes. You know, just like <laughs> ran outside, drove all the way there, and was like, oh, man, I felt so bad. I just felt mm-hmm. so bad. This is the first time for getting your daughter? Yeah. 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 First time that my dad, so they were together at least. And my son's probably like, eh, don't worry about it. It's just once in a while. <laughs> He's a moron. Listen, Henley, he's going to be doing this for the next 12 years. Yeah. And so, uh, so luckily for us, it was Kona Ice Day. Oh, nice. So they were like, um, I picked him up. They were both like jumping and screaming that I was there when I got there with the other mom. And I just got, I was like, thank you very much. And I you, they were happy you didn't totally forget. Yeah. They were happy I didn't totally forget. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she was like, oh, it's okay. Tuesdays are confusing. I get it. Like, she understood. You know, it was like early dismissal. She got in her totally car. Crazy. I went, Jesus. Oh, Lord. I can't those believe kids those are kids are doomed. Alive. And um, they were like, I was like, hey, guys, I'm sorry I was late. I tried not to make a big deal of it, too, to not, uh-huh. like, not to, like, perpetuate the sure. emotion of it or whatever. So I was like, oh, man, I'm sorry I'm late, guys. And they were like, that's okay. Can we go get Kona ice? And I was like, absolutely, we can go get Kona yeah. ice. <laughs> I like, yeah. And I got because I go, yeah, I owe you guys anyway for being late. I'm sorry about that. Let's go get some Kona ice. And they're like, all right. So, like instantaneously, instantaneously, it was kind of forgot. My daughter did hang on to it a little bit though. She mentioned when we got home, she was like, Dad, I was, I was nervous that you weren't there. And I was like, Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I was late. I, you know, just yeah. got up doing stuff. So I'm sorry, but you know, I still came to get you. <laughs> what were you doing? So you see that stuff on the floor? Um, yeah, I was uh, nothing. I was like literally doing nothing. I was bored. Yeah, I was filling time <laughs> that I had. Did That's have, funny. That I thought I had. I was filling time with that I thought I had in my back pocket with things to do to be ahead of things, but I did not have that time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was not in my pocket. Uh, Neither were my keys. It's funny that it's this thing that like. Like you're so excited for the day that I forget my kids. I know you are. Um, you're excited. The for more it and more happen. I do it, once in a while, it like puts a little bit more pressure on you to never do it. <laughs> oh, it definitely does. <laughs> and I will say to your credit, I almost did it this week. Yeah, I was same thing. Uh, I wasn't killing time. I was editing something we had to uh, make, and I was like, I maybe like just imported something. It doesn't matter. Like I had it all the video. I had all the video in there, and I was like. Okay. And then I was like about to start cutting and then I just like looked up at the clock and it was one twenty. I had plenty of time. But I was like went up and went, uh, it's Tuesday. Yeah, it's like you didn't know. Oh man, I thought I had more yeah. time to sleep in. I have to it get sucked. up now. It yeah. sucked. It was definitely like yeah, I promise you I'll take that over. Oh, I, lost an, I lost an hour. You should have been there ten minutes ago. Yeah. Twenty minutes later, you were leaving your house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to but we so within an hour, we both realized it was Tuesday, and that was a real disappointment. I th- I did I immediately was like on the f- <laughs> the very fastest four minute drive I've ever been on mm-hmm. on the way there, picking him up, dealing with you know with them standing in line for the next like two hours. I was like really starting to beat myself up over it, and then before I got too far into that, I was like, all right, why don't you just relax about this? Yeah, okay, nobody, nobody like, cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> Everyone except for Kevin has done it. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, or something to that effect. We're like, oh, stupid. You know, parent calls you, whatever, you know. And I was like, relax. Don't put so much immense pressure on yourself. That's exactly what our what we do here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. relax on yourself. But you know, Yeah, be grateful. Just, it's content. Yeah. That yeah, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just remember to pick up your kids and don't forget it. But it was like <laughs> Relax. It's not. It's not a core memory for them or any of that kind of stuff. It's like it's no. forgotten. Even be, I mean, because of Kona, it's not a core memory. <laughs> there was no Kona. I said I was like, "Well, who wants milkshakes?" And they were like, "Well, can we go to Kona Ice?" And I was like, "Yeah, whatever the solution is. Yeah, whatever dis- makes me the hero again. Yeah, the distracting <laughs> solution. Let's do that. That's great. Let's um, and let's get out the dry like, eraser and reset the dude, clock yeah. to zero. <laughs> Days since forgetting exactly, my kids. Boy, that'll school. be in a post someday. Won't it? Days <laughs> since forgetting early drop off. <laughs> Wipe it zero. God. Dot dot. How about a sad face? Chat? How about, <laughs> I'll make like a little halftime chat about that because, oh, man. That's good. That's good. That's a good place to leave it because, yeah. 
you guys should be picking up your kids right now. Why are you still listening to this and podcast? I actually do have to leave your house in like the next five or ten minutes yeah. to go get my kids from school. So it is a good place <laughs> to leave it. So thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks this for hanging out with us, guys. And uh, follow us on all social channels at the Dumb Dads. You can DM us uh, on Instagram or email us dumbdadpodgmail.com with your own dumb parent moments. We'd love to read them on the podcast. Thanks as always to do on SoundCloud for the music. And as always to my awesome wife, Annie, for editing this podcast. Do you have a joke? I got a joke for you. School related. Send us out. Uh, how did the computer get the virus? I don't know how. Left a window open. Nice. Very dad heavy. Yeah. Situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. Welcome to the world, little one. Welcome to life. How do I stop this?